going on guys, Pro Wrestling Gamer right here, and you guys have been asking for this video for a long, long time. I told you guys when I hit 2K subs, I was going to make a tutorial for you guys, so here it is. It seems to me like every single time that I get online, somebody's always asking me the question, how do you live stream? How do you live stream from your device? How, how, how? If it isn't somebody, it's everybody. Everybody wants to know how you can live stream from your device. So I'm going to make this tutorial for you guys. I hope it helps you live stream as well. I hope you guys are able to figure it out. I will not be using a face cam for the tutorial because I don't want anything to get in the way of the screen and interrupt what's going on. I want to make sure you guys are paying attention and you can see everything clearly. If you guys like this video, make sure you thumb it up, you share it, and most importantly, smash that sub button, guys. So let's get to it. So what you guys are looking at right here are my home screens. I am running a Samsung Galaxy Note 3, not the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, the exploding variant that got banned from the entire world, but the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, a very fair and reliable device that is still good today in 2016, in my humble opinion. But anyway, guys, this is an Android device. For those of you that do not know, it is not made by Apple. It does not run iOS, so this tutorial is for Android users only. The reason why I say that is because even though the app does exist on iOS in the App Store, I'm not sure if it works exactly the same way. I have no experience with iOS devices as of today. So this is for Android users only, obviously not for PC users. We're talking about mobile devices. I'm going to take you guys on a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can live stream video games from your phone. So first and foremost, you're going to go into the Google Play Store and you're going to look up this application right here, YouTube Gaming made by Google. All right, guys, make sure it's made by Google. Make sure you're not getting some strange clone from another third party person app developer you need to make sure it's made by google it's called youtube gaming you have to install this application i already have it installed so i'm not going to go ahead and do that i'm not going to uninstall it and reinstall it i have it installed second thing you have to note is please read everything about this application because if you scroll all the way to the bottom i'm sure it'll tell you um, and if it doesn't tell you, it should tell you, but I'm just making sure right here. I'm looking for it right now, guys. It should tell you that this application is only compatible with Android 5.0 and up, which means if you're not running Lollipop 5.0 and up, this application will not work with your device. Um, not sure why it doesn't say that anywhere here in the instructions. Maybe I'm just missing it. Let me go ahead and check one more time. I'm looking at it right now, and I don't see it anywhere. So... It only works with 5.0, guys. Keep that in mind. If you have 4.1, 4.2, or anything like that, if you're running Jelly Bean and underneath, this application is not going to work. The other thing I want to make sure that you guys know is that if you look this app up and it does not pop up in your Google Play Store, then your device is probably not compatible with the app, and you can probably get it through an APK, but I'm not going to promise you that if you do download an APK version of it, it is going to work. So keep that in mind, guys. If the app is not popping up in your Google Play Store, your device is incompatible. So how do you know if you have Android 5.0? You have to go into your system settings, all right? You have to go all the way to general, the tab all the way to the right, scroll to the bottom, and where it says about device, click on about device, and you'll scroll and you'll see right there it says Android version 5.0. So if I click on it multiple times, you'll see the Lollipop pop up. That means I have Lollipop. That means I can definitely run Google uh, Google application. I'm sorry guys. I can definitely run YouTube gaming. So now we're going to go ahead and open up YouTube gaming, which I have down here. We're going to click on it. We're going to open up YouTube gaming and it's going to load up. It's got a pretty neat animation right there. And you're going to click on, it's got several options right here, guys. You can watch live streams. It's got your home screen. You can watch live streams. You can watch, uh, different videos, gaming videos. It's actually a pretty cool application. If you just want to watch other people live streaming, but you guys want to learn how to live stream. So you got to go ahead and click up here on the top. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click the stream button. It's going to give you two options. So I suggest you use 480p if you have a slower internet connection. Use 720p if you have a faster internet connection. If you're streaming from your mobile data plan and you don't have an unlimited plan, then I do not recommend it. If you do have an unlimited plan and you have 4G LTE, I still recommend that you use 480p to reduce stream lag. So you're going to go ahead and click next on 480p, which is what I use. And we're going to go ahead and click next. And it's going to give you a list of all the games that are installed on your phone so you're going to scroll through all the games you're going to pick the one you want so i'm going to go ahead and just select um, clash royale 
and it's going to bring up a list right here. So you guys are looking at a list. Um, I'm sorry, it's bringing up a menu, guys, and it's asking you for the stream information. So here's where you get to title your screen, your stream. You get to title it whatever you want to title it, blah, 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 blah. And then you click the back button and then you scroll down and you title your description of your video. So you add the title and you fill in the description of your video, blah, 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 and you click next. So that's what people are going to see when they click on your video. Here it gives you the option to share it with various social media platforms. You can share it one by one. I wish it had an option where you can just click um, and select check mark everything that you wanted to share it to and then share it all at once, but it does not. This app is in beta form, so it does come with a few glitches that pop up from time to time, but overall you get pretty smooth performance on YouTube. So. If you click other, it'll bring up all of your applications. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel, and we're gonna go ahead and do this one more time so you guys can see. So I picked I picked 720p. I'm sorry, no, I picked 480p SD standard definition. We go to next, we go to next, you select your game. I picked Clash Royale. You go ahead and add your title, you go ahead and add your description, you click next. And now it's gonna bring up your social media, you click next. And now it's getting ready to start the stream. So once I click start now, it's going to boot up the game. There it is. It's loading up. And there's Clash Royale and there's my menu. And now you guys can see me on camera, right? So you have the choice. And make sure, guys, when you are streaming, you turn your volume settings all the way down because the stream will pick up the in-game sounds and it'll override whatever you, it is you're trying to say. If you're trying to do commentary, people are not going to hear your commentary. And I found it's best if you keep your volume setting just one notch up. So as close as possible to all the way muted, just one notch up is where you got to keep it. All right, so now we have a menu. You're going to go ahead and click on the settings, and you have the option to either have no face cam at all by clicking none. I'm sorry, no, this is a special effect. You have the option to reduce your face cam size. Very, very tiny, so it's not distorting gameplay footage. You have the option to move it up a little bit, make it medium. It's a pretty cool feature, or you can make it really big because you want people to see your face expressions. The other setting is you have the option to disable the camera entirely. So there it is. It's gone. It's going to leave a logo up there. So guys, keep that in mind. The logo will be up there. I suggest if you use the logo, you shrink it all the way down as small as it can be. There's no way to remove the logo to my knowledge. Uh, the other thing you have an option to do is you have the option to cancel out your microphone. When you cancel out your microphone, that means people cannot hear what you're saying. So if you don't want to do commentary, if you're just trying to do a video without saying anything and allow people to watch gameplay footage, you can cancel that out as well. One more option that you have is you have the option to not see any comments popping up in the live stream. So if you don't want to see comments because they're getting in the way of your gameplay footage or they're distracting you or you simply don't want to reply to people, then you go ahead and you cancel out your comments. You just click the button and they're gone. You will not see the comments. It doesn't prevent people from being able to comment, to my knowledge. It just blocks them from your view so that you cannot see them. And last but not least, guys, the middle button, which says tap stream. Once you tap that button, it's going to give you a three, two, one, and you will be live. I'm not going to go ahead and tap that button, guys, because I don't want to go live. I don't want to send a notification to 2,000 plus subscribers that I am online when I'm not going to be doing a live stream, guys. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple process. I hope you guys will be able to live stream after this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, if you guys did enjoy it and you found it helpful, make sure you share it, thumb it up, drop some comments below, let me know what you guys thought of the video, and most importantly, guys, subscribe. I do appreciate the support. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. I am getting out of here. Peace out, everybody.